Light of the world Greek, phos tu cosmu, phos tu cosmu, is a phrase Jesus used to describe himself and his disciples in the New Testament. The phrase is recorded in the Gospel of John and again in the Gospel of Matthew. It is closely related to the parables of salt and light and lamp under a bushel. <laughs> Gospel accounts Referring to himself In John 8 verse 12 Jesus applies the title to himself while debating with the Jews and states, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Jesus again claims to be light of the world in John 9 verse 5, during the miracle of healing the blind at birth, saying, when I am in the world, I am the light of the world. This episode leads into John chapter 9 verse 39 where Jesus metaphorically explains that he came to this world so that the blind may see. In the Christological context, the use of the title light of the world is similar to the bread of life title in John chapter 6 verse 35 where Jesus states, I am the bread of life. He who comes to me shall not hunger. These assertions build on the Christological theme of John chapter 5 verse 26 where Jesus claims to possess life just as the Father does and provide it to those who follow him. The term life of the world is applied in the same sense by Jesus to himself in John chapter 6 verse 51. Topic: <inaudible> Referring to his disciples. Jesus also used that term to refer to his disciples in Matthew chapter 5 verse 14. You are the light of the world. A city on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead they put it on its stand, and it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before men, that they may see your good deeds and praise your Father in heaven. This application of, "...light compared with darkness," also appears in 1 John 1 verse 5 which applies it to God and states, "...God is light, and in him is no darkness at all." Topic Johannine dualism examples of dualistic concepts in the Gospel of John light and darkness light and darkness in John's gospel is an antithesis that has symbolic meaning and is essential to understanding the author of John The fourth gospel expresses certain ideas using the antithesis more frequently than any other writings in the New Testament The Johannine community may have borrowed the symbolic use of the antithesis light darkness from Essene literature which considered history as a permanent conflict between good and evil using light as a symbol of truth and righteousness and darkness as that of falsehood and evil the following are antithetical quotes from John known and unknown John 12:35 you are going to have the light just a little while longer walk while you have the light before darkness overtakes you Whoever walks in the dark does not know where they are going. John chapter 17 verse 3 Now this is eternal life, that they know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent, Jesus Christ and Moses. John 3 14 Just as Moses lifted up the snake in the wilderness, so the Son of Man must be lifted up. John chapter 4 verses 6 to 8 Jacob's well was there, and Jesus, tired as he was from the journey, sat down by the well. It was about noon. When a Samaritan woman came to draw water, Jesus said to her, Will you give me a drink? John chapter 20 verse 31 But these are written that you may believe that Jesus is the Messiah, the Son of God, and that by believing you may have life in his name heavenly and earthly. John 1 14 The Word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. We have seen his glory, the glory of the one and only Son, who came from the Father, full of grace and truth. John chapter 4 verses 6 to 8 Jacob's well was there, and Jesus, tired as he was from the journey, sat down by the well. It was about noon. When a Samaritan woman came to draw water, Jesus said to her, Will you give me a drink? John chapter 20 verse 31 But these are written that you may believe that Jesus is the Messiah, the Son of God, and that by believing you may have life in his name. John 3.13 No one has ever gone into heaven except the one who came from heaven, the Son of Man. John chapter 3 verse 15 That everyone who believes may have eternal life in him above and not above. John 1.14 The Word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. We have seen his glory, the glory of the one and only Son, who came from the Father, full of grace and truth. John chapter 3 verse 13 No one has ever gone into heaven except the one who came from heaven, the Son of Man, spirit and flesh. John 1 14 The Word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. We have seen his glory, the glory of the one and only Son, who came from the Father, full of grace and truth. John chapter 3 verse 08 The wind blows wherever it pleases. You hear its sound, but you cannot tell where it comes from or where it is going. So it is with everyone born of the Spirit. John chapter 4 verse 24 God is spirit and his worshipers must worship in the spirit and in truth. Sight and blindness John 1:14 the word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. 
We have seen his glory, the glory of the one and only Son, who came from the Father, full of grace and truth. John chapter 12 verse 35 You are going to have the light just a little while longer. Walk while you have the light, before darkness overtakes you. Whoever walks in the dark does not know where they are going. Insiders and World John 1:14 The Word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. We have seen his glory, the glory of the one and only Son, who came from the Father, full of grace and truth. John chapter 3 verse 19 Light has come into the world, but people loved darkness instead of light because their deeds were evil. John chapter 9 verse 5 While I am in the world, I am the light of the world. John chapter 10 verse 30 I and the Father are one. Day and night John 9 to 4 As long as it is day, we must do the works of him who sent me. Night is coming, when no one can work. <laughs> Darkness in the fourth gospel In John's writings, walking in darkness does not mean committing acts of sin but rather, rejecting God's message of eternal life through Christ. Those who define darkness as sin also define light as good and righteous. However, in the Gospel of John light is never defined as righteous. Light is defined as life, as seen in John 1 verse 4, in him was life, and the life was the light of men. Those have faith through him will have eternal life. This life is a gift Jesus brought from God into a dying world. In John, darkness is present in the absence of light, the absence of eternal life, and darkness referring to death, spiritually. Those who walk in darkness do not have eternal life because they are unknown to God. The only way to receive life is to be known of the light through God and His promises. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Extra Biblical sources. In the non-canonical Gospel of Thomas, a used similar phrase appears: "There is light within a man of light, and he lights up the whole world." If he does not shine, he is darkness. Topic. See also. I am biblical term. Jesus in Christianity. Life of Jesus in the New Testament.